Welcome, welcome everybody. Usually I say welcome to Janice Hall, but this is virtual Janice Hall. You can see I found a snow picture of the uh, snow that's going to come tomorrow. So in the mm -hmm. virtual world, we can go back and make things happen. So first of all, congratulations for all graduating seniors. I hope your family is joining you. We are gonna record uh, this official program and then you'll be able to share with folks who cannot join us today. So next, I just went yesterday and got a recent picture of Janice Hall. You guys could try to use it as a virtual background if you want and uh, next. That's the entrance. Many times our graduating seniors used to take group pictures in front of the entrance. Now you will have to Photoshop yourself in front of the Janus Hall entrance and you could do that. Next. So the main purpose here today is first of all, acknowledge achievements of each and every one of you because you have worked hard to get to this point. But this is a, some kind of unique historic event, not only because this is virtual and you are not all in the lobby, but we have five student awards to announce. And we will talk about them little by little. Yeah. Last one is a surprise. Uh, I do not know whether Kathleen Young is on the Zoom meeting or not. I just sent her an invitation this morning but the hard work that we all put in, students, faculty, their families included, this is the time to celebrate what we have done. Some of you, if you I, I had seen you in your tours, I usually tell you Janice Hall will become your second home. And you will agree that it actually becomes because in this pandemic stay at home order, one of the things I miss most is hanging around and walking around in Janice Hall and the folks that work there and the activities that happen there. I think we still have those in our memories and those memories will stay with us for the rest of our life. So next. Just to remind you that in 2020-21, we will be celebrating 75th year for the department. You can look at this because chemical engineering department started in 1946. So we will be starting into our 75th year. And to give you a little bit of a context, when you guys came in fall of 16, you can see what the enrollment of incoming students was. And you see next year we are getting ready to bring in 96 students total. We are on a rising path and we're breaking many records along the way. Those of us in faculty who have been around longer, remember 200 students as our record peak. And now for many years, we have been running consistently more than 300 students in our incoming classes of biomedical and chemical engineering are growing steadily side by side, not at the expense of another one. So this historic event, I think you are part of it in one new unique way. So I'm gonna invite all of you, if you can, either in person or in virtual mode, come back in September to welcome the new incoming class of 96 students. And I think we're gonna start a new tradition that a panel of graduating seniors from May will be there in September to welcome incoming class. So that invitation is open. We will figure out the logistics of how to do it and I'll work with you all to figure out who comes and talks to the incoming class to bring them along as a part of Janice Hall family. Next.
So there are two awards at the college level. And I have corresponding faculty advisors who are going to talk about it. So it's Kirk and Kiara. Kirk got a uh, Hovi Award and Kiara got uh, the Outstanding International Student Award. So who wants to go first, Kathleen or Carissa? I'm happy to, to step up since uh, Catherine is the first one there on the left. Okay. So uh, Catherine Kirk came to us from uh, chemistry, actually. She started out as a chemistry student. And then uh, a couple years in, I think she decided that she would much rather switch and be in biomedical engineering. And we could not have been happier to have her. She is an incredible student. On top of doing all the work that we ask of all of our biomedical engineering students, she is also minoring in Spanish which uh, has no overlapping classes whatsoever that can help her out here. <laughs> she, uh, she excels in that, she speaks fluently. And in addition to doing her Spanish minor, doing all of her coursework, she's also worked in my lab on a project um, that has really required a lot of independent thinking and a lot of independent drive. And she has really taken over that and she has always found time in her busy schedule to, to be in the lab and be working and even to be training other students who are younger than her in how to do the types of things that she's doing. So Catherine is an absolutely amazing student so happy to have had the opportunity to work with her, and I think she really deserves this award. So congratulations, Catherine. All right, I guess I'll go yeah. next for yeah. Ines. So Ines is an international student. She's from Belgium. Uh, I don't know the exact location in Belgium, but I've yet to get any good Belgium chocolates, which I'm disappointed. I'm just joking about. Um, but she is a transfer student as well. So she started her academic career at a small liberal arts college in Kentucky. And then she came into my office and she said, I wanna do biomedical engineering and I wanna do it in three years. And that is a really hard thing to do. And she was very successful in taking advantage of different summer classes that we have available to, to really put, put that whole story together. So on top of that, she is a D1 swimmer and, and a really good D1 swimmer on that. So in addition to, you know, the rigor of the academic classroom environment, rigor of swimming is particularly extensive, many, many hours a day in the pool. And she's not just a swimmer that just is, you know, checking off the number of yards that are required of her. She swims even outside of, of typical practice times as well. And as part of that, she teaches younger children how to swim. And, um, She's also been a coach for the recreational adult um, swim club in the area as well. And I hear she's really good at that as well. So, and most recently she has joined my lab as an undergraduate research assistant in which she's putting her interest in sort of swimming and exercise to test, not on herself, but instead with zebrafish that have been tested in different electrostimulation approaches to exercise. And then we're imaging them to look at the muscle patterns to see how they're changing, if exercise is helpful or not helpful for people that suffer from muscular dystrophy. So Ines has also applied to graduate school and I think she's going to be continuing her career path here in the fall with a master's in biomedical engineering. So congratulations to you. Okay. So Kathleen Young is a special award. Some of you might know her. She was originally trying to graduate in 2019 but Kathleen Young has a unique background and a unique history. She has taken a long scenic road from high school graduation to college graduation. She has done many things along the way and without giving up any time, she has always made progress towards her goal. So we have been working with Kathleen and this year she has finished the degree requirements while holding a full-time job at EMMC. And I want to particularly recognize this because with persistence, as a, one of the non-traditional student, she has shown people when you can reach your own goals. So she deserves a special honorable mention and we'll make sure she gets appropriate uh, certificate 
when we see her next time. So congratulations, Caitlin. Next. By the way, Caitlin started in Maine College of Arts, went to Savannah College of Arts and Design, then came to SMCC as a pre-engineering, and then came to University of Maine and finished her bachelor's in biomedical engineering. Next one is Matt Weber. Tom? All right. Um, so Matt Weber uh, came to us originally in, in 2016, uh, and I've been uh, proud to say that I've been his academic advisor for those four years and, and that he's also worked in my research group for the last two years. Um, Matt is one of the most talented students I think I've ever had the privilege to work with. Uh, I don't quite know when he sleeps. Um, I suspect some of his, class might, his classmates might agree with me about that. Uh, somehow he's managed to fit in a full degree as a chemical engineering student. Uh, he's TA'd two years of, of um, serves as a teaching assistant for two years in undergraduate thermodynamics uh, for one year in the undergraduate unit ops lab, uh, or unit ops uh, lecture class, I should say. Um, he worked in uh, Howard Patterson's research group in the chemistry department for his first two years uh, at the university and managed to um, uh, have his name on a published paper there. And then for the last two years, he's worked in my research group uh, looking at making renewable chemicals from, from uh, local biomass, uh, and also just got his name on a published paper this week. Um, so uh, congratulations to Matt on that. His plans next are to pursue a PhD, and he will be going to MIT in the fall uh, to do just that. So um, congratulations, Matt. It's a, a job very well done. Thank you. Next is our valedictorian for the entire university, and that's Sierra Yost. Many of her know her. She has excelled in all areas that are considered in deciding who gets the honor. And as many of you know, it's much more than GPA. It's the service orientation that she has, is the in connection with the community, is holistic outlook on the life as a whole. And just in all around areas, she just exceeded anybody's and everybody's expectations. She sailed through the college review. She raised to the top at the university level and she earned this honor. So we can hear from her directly. I'm Sierra Yost. I am a chemical engineering major in the Honors College, and I'm from Wyndham, Maine. I am a pulp and paper scholar, which has been a huge thing for me all four years. I am also an all-Maine woman, and I was recognized on the America East all-academic team in 2018. I do intramural soccer. I'm in all-Maine women. I'm in Engineers Without Borders. I'm in the American Institute of Chemical Engineers student chapter and the Technical Association of the Pulp and Paper Industry student chapter. The Pulp and Paper Foundation has played a huge part in my time here the past four years. I came in thinking the pulp and paper industry was dying. I was still a pulp and paper scholar, but I was like, I don't know, there's a lot to do here after. But I think, again, with all the plastic replacement stuff, the pulp and paper industry is booming. And I think that that's where I want to spend the rest of my time. I have done two terms of co-op at Onyx Specialty Papers in Western Massachusetts in their new business development division, and I also have completed an honors thesis using cellulose nanofibrils to make single-use utensils that are biodegradable. Being environmentally conscious is a really important thing, and I think as a chemical engineer, I have a responsibility to society to kind of help us move in the right direction. I chose UMaine not only for the Pulp and Paper Foundation, but also because both of my parents are alumni, and it's about two hours 
hours from my house, which is like a good distance, so my parents can't come drop in at the drop of the hat, but also that I can go home when I want to. UMAN has made a huge difference in my life, not only the friends I've made along the way or the mentors that I have had, but just the opportunities that I've had. I came in thinking I'd rather be a chemistry student and realized that chemical engineering is actually the perfect way for me to go. I love my major. I love what I'm doing with it, and I think that whole mind shift from chemistry to chemical engineering has made a huge difference in my life. I have had three people that were really important to me in the past four years. Uh, my honors professor, Dr. Mark Haggerty, has paid, made a huge influence on how I see the world and how I write. Dr. Doug Bosefield is my honors advisor who's really introduced me to research and how I'm going to see and pursue the next four years of my life. And my coach, Coach Mark Leck, has been a huge life mentor for me. I think it's really important as we move towards more plastic alternatives to be on the forefront of that and to kind of get ahead of the curve because a lot of things right now are still plastic. So as we work and can move forward with more biodegradable and environmentally friendly options, I think we should. I am going to pursue a doctorate in chemical engineering. I have not yet decided in my school. I have four choices that I'm really looking at right now, though. So congratulations to all from all our faculty. I just took this picture out of the bulletin board that's in Janice Hall yesterday. I think I'm going to open it up to all faculty if they want to add a few comments. And then we will go to recognition of all of our graduates. So anybody want to jump in? Hey, congratulations to everybody. It's been a pleasure having you over the last four years. And we wish you all the best of luck in wherever this next journey takes you. Uh, as as uh, the academic advisor for the chemical engineering half of, uh, half of you guys, it's been a, a tremendous pleasure to, to get to know you all over the last four years and, and to see everybody kind of grow and uh, develop into the now um, uh, very well trained engineers that you all are, and, and uh, it's very exciting to see where we're all going to be, uh, all going to be headed. So, um, seriously, congratulations on a job well done to all of you. That, and I would just state, please keep in touch. And I was very glad to meet the uh, chemical engineering side through the senior seminar series. Uh, you guys are a lot of neat character characters and. Uh, interesting people to get to know. It's been wonderful to work with you over the past four years. We're, we're so proud of, of all of you. Great students. And congratulations from the office as well. Wish Kathy and I wish you all the best. Thank you, Angel. Thank you. Smudgy says farewell. We're going to go to the movie that Eileen Co has made of all the students, and they will be recognized in alphabetical order.
So congratulations to all. And now it's open for students to join in. Sierra Yost, your mother is so proud of you. Congratulations and to all of you. I just want to say thank you, everybody. It's been <laughs> it's been a crazy four years, but we all did it together. Thank you, all the teachers, and thank you, everyone else that we did it with. Yeah, congrats, everyone. We did it together. A lot of late nights in Janess, but we did it. We made it. Congrats, everybody. It's been real.